Hey y'all, Shafani Nicole here and in today's video we'll be planning December and just talking about some upcoming changes that will be happening. But before we get into all that, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you're notified when I post videos. Now before I plan any new month, I always take a moment and reflect on the previous month. And this is something that I did do off camera, so we're just going to hop into doing the mini goals. Now, I know y'all noticed I wrote in 2023. Don't judge me. <laughs> I did change it after I did catch it. I've been talking about 2023 way too much. So now it's just stuck in my brain. My mini goals are based off my big goals that I have for myself for 2022. So um, I just create those mini goals because they're easy to obtain. And honestly, y'all, with my big goals, sometimes I create goals that are a little far-fetched. Not meaning that they're not realistic and I won't obtain them. But in my head, I feel like I should be obtaining, the, obtaining them in a year. And sometimes that's just not the case. And that's something that I'm really learning about myself and just learning about life. Like every goal will not be obtainable within the time frame you think it should be. Um, sometimes, you know, even if I did say a year, it might be a couple of months from that year before I obtain that goal. So I'm just learning to give myself some grace. So one of my mini goals for the month or it's been like a mini goal for all like every single month um, is to make a certain amount of money from my digital planners and honestly I feel like I just need to build my website in order for me to actually obtain this um, because right now um, as most of you know I do sell my digital products on Etsy and honestly the fees are just ridiculous like I cringe every time I look at what I'm paying monthly in fees to Etsy and I mean honestly I would not mind if the you know all the traffic was actually coming you know mainly from Etsy but my traffic is coming from my TikTok and my Instagram so I just think it's time for me to make my own website and I feel like this is just giving me the push to do it um, so I'm going to be devoting all of December to basically just getting my website up and running so you guys won't see me um, put out any new products right now. I probably won't start back that back up until the beginning of the new year. And I'm also thinking I probably will do an affiliate program, but I honestly, I don't know yet. So just let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Okay, so after I finish my mini goals, I like to do my vision board for the month. And I base my vision board off my mini goals. So what I like to do is I like to go to Pinterest to find photos that will represent my goals for the month. And I did do a full um, tutorial on how to create a vision board. So if you want to check that out, I will link it in the description box.
Okay, so now we are going to plan on the monthly calendar. And before I do anything, I always do my top priorities and my checklist. And I basically get all of this information from my yearly overview. So I basically decide which to-dos are more important over others. And then after that, I just set up my widgets and y'all I am in love with the holiday widgets they are really putting me in like the holiday mood um I've been watching a whole bunch of Hallmark movies <laughs> um so I'm just getting into the spirit and you know we're gonna be taking um family photos it's just gonna be me my boyfriend and the dog and I bought like flannel so we can all wear that um, and we're going to be taking these pictures at home, so I can't, <laughs> I think I'm a photographer, so we're going to try it and we're going to see what happens. But yes, I do love all of the holiday widget sets and I'm super excited to use all of them. And I think there are three sets of these. Um, I think, uh, yeah, it's three sets. One is like the, this one is the jingle all the way that I am using. And I have another one called Cozy Winter and the other one is um, Berry Merry Christmas. Okay, now I'm just doing my calendar numbers and I got these numbers from a sticker set that I purchased off Etsy like years ago so I still had those so I'm just using them. Now if you don't know how to do your calendar numbers I do have a tutorial on that and I will link that in the description box as well. I'm gonna create a split screen with my sticker book and you're gonna see me rotate my plant my iPad I was doing it that way but I wasn't feeling it I just needed to see the whole thing and yeah it wasn't working for me so I just rotated my iPad and I'm just gonna keep going um, dragging and dropping stickers in and I am using the jingle all the way stickers each widget pack does have a matching set of stickers um, and you can find those in my Etsy shop. Then I'm going to write in those important dates. Now I don't write in a lot of things because I do like to keep this bit a bit bare um, because as the month goes I have appointments and I'll just fill in as I go for the month. I drag and drop the presents over but you're gonna see me move them because I honestly did not like the way they look there so I'm just gonna replace them with another sticker and move those somewhere else and that's it y'all um, this is how I plan my month hopefully you guys got some ideas Thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask also check out the videos that i did link in the description box and until next time bye y'all